Hey guys, it's Lion here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a theory on who the Road Trip skin is. If you don't know what skin I'm talking about, this is the new hidden skin for Season 5, similar to the Blockbuster for last season. Uh, I'm not actually the one who actually came up with this theory. I kind of had this theory in my head before, uh, but I'm not the first one to actually make a video on this, so I kind of want to make credit to where it's due, just because, you know, I... Well, I wasn't the first to upload it. Postbox Pat actually made this before me. I was watching other theory videos to get an idea of what I should make a theory video on. I was skimming through a bunch of videos that I saw. And although I don't really like Postbox Pat, just because I don't like his channel, uh, I, he, there's a lot of bad stuff in my opinion. Especially since he puts like seven ads a video at least. And a lot of his theories are just really bad in my opinion. One of his videos had a theory on who the road trip skin was. And uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. And a lot of the ideas he had in that video were good. So I credit to him. This is one of the only videos I actually liked of him to be honest. But I just wanted to get that out just because people would say I stole this idea from him or from someone else. So uh, yeah, that's not the case. But I was still thinking of this theory just because it's not really unique. So uh, it's not that hard to come up with this in my opinion but anyways go with the theory so uh the theory of the road trip skin is basically it's leading on to the road trip skin uh with a road trip just like the name says similar to the blockbuster skin the blockbuster skin wasn't actually called the blockbuster skin it was called the visitor so just like last season uh the storyline event that's going to happening in the current season is going to lead on to the road trip skin and its actual identity and its name because the road trip skin is just the placeholder name it's not actually going to be called that it's just relating to how there's a road trip going on uh if you didn't know in the road trip challenges for every weekly challenge you complete you get a loading screen and we're in week two so we only have two loading screens uh, the first loading screen I'll show you guys on screen, it's where it's where the new Drift character comes in and uh, he gets introduced to the Fortnite world and he makes new friends and he joins them on a road trip. And on the map in the picture, you can see they're using a specific route. So we know that where they're going and which direction they're going to. The map was showing that they're going to be heading east. And in week two, we see that they're at the golf carts, which is on the right side of the Greasy Grove picture. So we know that they're going to be heading right even more. So then we know that in the next week, they're going to be heading right again. Uh, and there's four more weeks. So we can kind of assume where they're going to be heading. Just because there's seven weeks and two of them are fast and they've traveled that much distance. It's probably going to be realistic and it's not going to travel too far. It's going to be the same time and same distance in my opinion. It's not going to travel to like Greasy Grove to like Moisty Mire or something like that. That's going to be way too far. It's going to be unrealistic and unpredictable. But for week three, we can assume that's going to be heading at Tomato Town or it's going to be heading at Risky Reels. Because uh, it's road trip and they're going to like places of like point of interest and basically general areas where like you would want to stop by basically anywhere on the map would be a place we can take a road trip and i'm showing different routes they can take in this video uh which could relate to the road trip skin because the road trips challenges are going to lead to the road trip skin itself and the actual name of it the identity but there's three things we don't know we don't know what it's going to be we don't know where it's going to happen and we don't know how it's going to happen a few things that are important and you should keep in mind are the secret bunker that's in Wailing Woods because that's been added in season four. We don't know what that's being used for. So that could potentially lead on to the next season uh, just because it wouldn't make sense if it's going to be adding on to this season because that was in season four. So it has nothing to do with the drift skin and the rifts or that's, that's what we think. So I have a feeling that that's going to be changing at the end of season five and that's going to be revealed then and it's gonna, something's going to happen. We also need to keep in mind that there could be uh, pyramids under Loot Lake. People are saying there's pyramids and it does look like it in my opinion. So Loot Lake could be covered by pyramids, which I'm kind of hoping because Loot Lake is kind of a useless spot right now and not many people like like going there. Another thing to keep in mind are the rifts in the sky, the cracks in the sky. Because like I said in one of my other videos, there's four main cracks in the sky in four different directions. One's west, one's north, one's east, and one's south. The crack on the west has snow coming through it and the crack from south or where the new areas are, the new desert area, there's sand falling from the sky. And there's two cracks where there hasn't been anything touched with it yet. We don't know what's gonna happen, but we can only assume that something will happen. We know for Anarchy Acres, it could be like a time travel thing just because a lot of the, like that general area has been like added with a lot of time travel. Uh, we know that the Greasy Grove area has been switched up there, which is kind of funny because that's generally what happens with farms. They get bought over and they just turn into uh, different things to use, especially golf courses. Maybe it's just showing the future and that's what happened to it. But for the right side, on the east side, where Lonely Lodge is, nothing's really happened to that. We know there was a, f we know that the first rift is over there, but other than that, there hasn't really, really been anything changed there. Something to keep in mind is the road trip and how far they're progressing with each week. Uh, we know that they were at the Greasy sign, then they went to Lazy Links, so that could show us that that's not how long it's taking them in every place. So that could potentially lead on to a Lonely Lodge, as something might happen there, and that's where the, the actual event's going to happen. We we don't know. Another thing that's important is the Nom sign, because that's been like added with a lot of technology it's been featurized there's a lot of cameras on it, there's a lot of computers so maybe it's going to be used for something i honestly think it's going to be used for something just because it's 
in the middle of nowhere. The season's also leading on to a glitch in the system with the battle pass and this could potentially be a glitch. Also not to mention that whenever you press L1 or R1 if you're on PS4, not sure what the Xbox buttons are, but when you switch tabs on the Fortnite page from your challenges to your battle pass to the play section, uh, it has a kind of weird effect similar to a glitch. So this could potentially connect to that and maybe the, the dimension space continuum broken system thing could also be a glitch in the system but we honestly don't know yet but let's go on to actual path and we could see that a lot of the areas have been changed so it's definitely going to be adding on to a path and i've shown the routes in the video uh, where it could potentially lead on to so like i said it's either going to be risky reels or tomato town or it could be both because there's a path to get to both but i honestly think it's going to be one just because it wouldn't make sense to go around so they could either go to tomato town and get a slice of pizza maybe it'll show the people that are holding up the signs and then the rioting to bring back the tomato man saying goodbye with the goodbye signs on the tomato man on the actual tomato man uh, building i talked about it on the previous video as well so go check that out I'm looking at that in the video or it could go to risky reels and they're actually watching the movie uh and if you didn't know uh next week on july 24th they're actually going to be showing a movie for the winner of the blockbuster event uh the hashtag fortnite blockbuster challenge i actually entered into that uh i had a video on it i'll put an annotation on screen right now see at the top you can click on the video if you want to check it out i kind of messed up on my video but you know you don't have to watch it it's okay i was kind of hoping to do better but you know i had to work with what i had i had a small time limit and i was kind of busy but you know it is what it is so go check that out if you want to but anyway continuing on with the video it could actually go on to Risky Reels and they could see the movie in that week. Because the day today that I'm making this video is July 19th. So in five days, they're going to show the movie. So that could show that the, the road trip is leading on to the movie place. And that's what they're going to watch. They're going to watch the actual movie. And maybe they're actually potentially going to add the actual video or movie uh, into the loading screen, which would be really cool. But maybe the loading screen is actually set. We don't know yet because we know that the movie is gonna be two days before week three starts. So that's probably gonna be where it's gonna lead on to, in my opinion. And it's gonna lead on to Wailing Woods, potentially lead on to the bunker. They're exploring, and we see the bunker maybe opening potentially. Could be a good chance that the bunker will open in week four, just because that's the place after Risky Reels. So once you go in Wailing Woods, you can see the bunker opening. The background similar to uh, season four with the Omen skin or the Blockbuster skin in the background with the rocket. We can see a shadow. That's what I feel like, in my opinion, this is gonna happen. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. And then on week seven, it's gonna go to Lonely Lodge maybe or the racetrack. And that's when the sky is going to be changing. And then the final week is where the actual new skin comes in. That's where he's going to meet up with the road trip skins or maybe something's going to happen. We don't know what it's going to do. I made a video on potential ideas and theories that it could be just by the looks of it and things that we already know. But we're just going to have to wait and see what it is. No one knows for sure. That video did really well and you guys really liked it. You guys were commenting a lot of ideas. People were saying it's going to be a samurai. People were saying it's like the a next omen skin. And uh, some people were saying it's going to be Thanos even. Everyone snap the fingers. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but it could also relate to the new statues with uh, nose pass looking rock. Mainly the one in the middle uh, where Dusty Depot is. I like to call this Rusty Rock. You know, if you guys know me, my live streams, uh, this is my place to land. This is my spot. If you guys know this is Liar's Rock, it's Rusty Rock. You guys know if anyone lands there, you know, he's got to tell them that's Rusty Rock, that's Liar's Place and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, it could potentially lead on to even Dusty Depot and Dusty Divot. And it could change that. I sub thought of the Rusty Rock name. I thought it was a really good idea just because it rhymes with Dusty and it's Preside Dusty. So it's Rusty Rock, Dusty Divot. Get it? And maybe it's going to actually change the place again. Similar to the original Dusty Depot. Uh, maybe they can bring back the old factories, the OG factories, because a lot of people want that back. That was like where like, you'd fight all your engagements, in my opinion. And I kind of miss it because it was a really good map. I don't know why they had to like take it out. Hopefully it comes back. But yeah, that's the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know any theories you guys have. Let me know what you guys think about my theory and if you guys think it's wrong. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and my theory. Make sure to like the video if you haven't and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps me a lot if you guys can do that. It really means a lot. Also, if you're staying this late in the video and you have nothing else to comment, uh, comment down below. Uh, hashtag Rusty Rock. But anyway, this video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.